Hello everybody! Yeah, I'm so happy, I am so happy to be back and to be recording with you guys. I feel like I I think I haven't recorded for like three to four months because I do batch content and um I've been busy with school. I had to do batch content because I knew I was going to be busy with school so I couldn't be recording while working on school projects and um, it's been a long time since I've been in front of the camera and talking with you guys so I am so excited to be back and as you guys know my ebook has been officially launched in the month of November I'm so excited about my ebook my precious ebook and in this ebook is um, now available on T with V and um, I am so fucking excited it's part of this series actually um, everything that I'm going to be talking about in this series I talked about in this ebook in a more deeply way and I put all the journal prompts that helped me during this celibacy journey so Yes guys, my ebook is officially available. I also have a discount code. It's subscribers for L. It's right here. This is my gift for you guys. I am so 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 excited about this ebook. I've I've channeled this ebook. I written it once, then I reread it and did some autocorrect add some things after i send it to my mentor my amazing mentor dash and also to other people at school mentors and tutors that are um helping me with writing so it was just quite fascinating because it's uh, like i know it's not a book it's just an ebook of like less than it's just an ebook but for me it's like I don't know it's so special it's so important because it's part of my journey it's all of the things that I did during this 40 year that you know I have been practicing so I don't know it's so it's so important to me so in this series in this part 4 of this series we're gonna talk about year 2021 so in the first I the part of the year 2021 and this is when I start detoxifying my body mind and also emotions and just heal my relationship with my womb this is really when I start digging deep into um, detoxifying my body from alcohol really start with womb work and trying to um i started journaling on the men that i had relationships with and the men that um i have emotional attachments and all these suppressed emotions because as i mentioned in my previous videos the reason i started my celibacy journey is because I was oppressing my emotions for a very long time during the time that I had a relationship with these men because I didn't want to have a relationship I didn't want to have feelings for them and my way to avoid it <laughs> was to suppressing my emotions denying what I felt and of course that suppression of emotion led to um, addictive pattern with behavior which started with um, alcohol the first thing it actually started with is working um, I become this really hard worker and I will lose myself into working hard but I will also lose myself into in my education so I will work hard in my magic education and part-time job to um, you know avoid my feelings <laughs> And also throughout the time where I started um, really, really have sexual. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I'm 
I cannot even say this seriously. <laughs> when I really started to um, have sexual, addictive sex patterns, I wouldn't say that I was like literally addicted to sex. I was addicted to the cycle of how I got it. I will break it down later on in this video for you guys but um yes so i started journaling in 2021 about my relationship with alcohol and i have a full video on it so i will not go into much detail but it is part of this detoxifying process and i'll have the video linked below so if you guys are interested you can always watch there there i go deeply into um what actually happened with my relationship and alcohol and the blackout and all of these things and what is the type of relationship I had at the time with alcohol and so touching up a little bit on that topic is girl that is when the pattern started it all started with one drink from one drink it started okay every drink a drink every week every week started okay three days in a week three days some days were like every day i was having a drink i wouldn't get drunk but i was having a drink so i had to um also simultaneously while i was absent while i was detoxifying my body being abstinent from alcohol i also started journaling on the emotions or the things that i was suppressing during that same time and all of the things that I was suppressing during the time were men that I was having feelings for. So I started journaling on the relationships that I had with them, on the type of relationship that I had with them, on the cycle that I had going on with them. And it became really, really hard, really, like, because it was like me truly accepting and letting go of all the things that I suppressed back then and girl honestly I feel like the journaling is what helped me abstinent from alcohol because every time that I started journaling I wanted to have a drink because I felt like oh my god I need I need the drink to have the courage to keep writing of this topic or on this person because I couldn't continue and that when I had those thoughts I was like that is a sign why you need to journal on this topic and not have that drink and every time i would drink water period <laughs> that's how i went through it and so i did this for like six to 12 months like i say even longer i think i did this up until 2022 like this all of this where was happening all the conditioning and all the the cycle of this game oh girl so it was also a thing that um it wasn't just because of the alcohol but it was also because of the environment i grew up in an environment where alcohol was differently celebrated and um i feel like that also influenced a lot of my decisions and my relationship with alcohol there is more on this topic in the video linked below so the mental and physical detoxifying was like just me journaling on all these ideas that i had on relationship all these ideas that i had in regard to these men how they made me feel and how i um internalized the story and um how i let it how it fed this idea that ultimately isn't true and i journaled on all of the men all of them i will write their name and just write everything everything that come up some of these men i will write about twice some of them i wrote about once and completely forgot and it was almost this process where i had to forgive myself i had to um had compassion with myself i had anger with myself i was disappointed and um it was really hard because i it was almost like seeing myself devaluing myself because all of those signs that is what i was actually doing 
and I didn't even know that I was doing it. The, the story that I had of why I was doing it was just so fucking sad. It was just so sad it, and it was a condition. And I had to like condition myself out of it. That's why journaling on this topic really helped me because it helped me condition myself out of it and create another story. And not only create another story, because it's not about a story, it's about learning the lesson that I needed to learn from that story because it's not true. There is a few things that I learned and it ultimately made me realize, okay, what I want, what I don't want, what I desired and what I do not desire. So that was also a very important process of me detoxifying myself emotionally and physically by um, detoxifying. I was already abstinent from sex, so the alcohol part was this thing that I was working on and also this emotional release. And through all that, I was also like connecting more with my womb in the sense of like, I will put my hand on my womb and really like remember all the things that happened any emotion or anything that i felt and truly release it and be with be at peace with the decisions that i make that then be at peace like just accept it fully and let it go don't like it's not a when you when i was doing this i wasn't judging myself i wasn't blaming myself i was just being okay that it is what it is and it's not going to be this anymore so that was like ultimately the process and let me see i wanted to talk about on this video because the rest of it is in regards of my relationship with drinking and that video you can have you can see it in the link below but ultimately on that mental on that mental aspect it was much more it's it's really it's really insane because when I journal on this topic, what I notice is, on all of these men, they were all the same. <laughs> they were all the same. Like they were all emotionally unavailable, had a lot of money. They were doing well. They were like super masculine, successful in this area. But they all had this specific characteristic and personality traits that I was like oh my god through journaling I realized like oh my god I am attracting the same type of men like all of these men were all the fucking same only difference is they look different or the um the um <laughs> manipulation was different <laughs> it really was like that and when during that journaling is when I also realized my own um wounds my own beliefs around the relationship my own beliefs around sexuality my own beliefs around passion realizing my people pleasing tendencies realizing um not having that i didn't have any boundaries all of these things start coming up as soon as i was being at peace with whatever it is that happened and not label myself not blame myself like i don't care because it's like you've accepted that that was part of who you was but it isn't who i am anymore i'm not sure if this that makes a lot of sense because it was a part of me that did whatever that needed to do at the level of conscience that i had and um I can't blame myself for not knowing any better and that's why I feel like a lot of the times when you really journal on these things and you create you fully fully create peace with it and you completely let it go you can just talk about it and nobody can use it against you because at the end of the day it's conditioning or belief systems that you've um, put yourself out of it and you've grown out of it and it isn't you anymore so that is what 
journaling on these relationships and on these people really helped me do for me because it really helped me see the story that I was telling myself and it wasn't about them it was always about why am I creating this why do I keep attracting these type of men why are these the only type of men that are available for me but it was because I had this specific class on that this was my only view so by journaling and by fully accept and releasing this emotion I like remove the glass and see everything for what it actually is and could have changed my view now because I accept it I allowed it and I released it and I made peace with it so that was like my year 2021 detoxifying um the alcohol thing was the thing that was deep deep for me but also relationship with these men like i journal so much on these men oh yeah i can make a sep another video in this regard but i'm not gonna bore you guys with that information because at the end of the day it's about what i've learned from that and that is what i want to share with you guys but you guys can also learn from your own relationship just by journaling with yourself on these topics and as soon as you come to the some type of conclusion or some type of anything why <laughs> and start over again go deeper because the deeper you go the more you can remove these layers and get to the core and just create a new just create a new story for yourself and um, create like you've gained this knowledge that now you can use to make different choices and that is what it is all about so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you're more interested on some of these journal prompts that really helped me they are available on my ebook that is also available on teawithfeet.store and if you do purchase it, don't forget to use the discount code subscriber for L. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Ciao! <laughs>